Hey guys, it's Blair and I'm going to talk to you today about how to save money at the grocery store. There are a couple things you can do to lower the cost of your grocery shopping. Um, one obviously being couponing. I'm not the biggest couponer, but I do know that there are a ton of places and you know sites and um, even groups on Facebook and things like that of fellow moms that they know how to coupon really really well. Um, and I have a couple friends of mine that are like crazy couponers, shall we say, and they have like stockpiles and everything in their house. So I highly recommend going and you know asking these girls for help or learning about it yourself because um, couponing can be a really great way to cut some corners at the grocery store. But maybe you're not a couponer, I am not big on it, so me and my husband came up with other ways that we can save money. One of them being that we sit down and we plan out our meals um, every single week so we already know what we're going to be eating. We will build our shopping list based upon what we're, our meals are going to be. We also go through our cupboards, our pantries and whatnot, um, the fridge, and already look for things that we have um, maybe a lot of. So maybe we have a ton of frozen chicken or turkey um, or other sides or whatever um, that we kind of need to use up. So we'll make sure that we're using what we already have so we're not buying more stuff. Uh, one of the other things is, I mean, I love trying new recipes, but unfortunately sometimes, as you know, like a new recipe calls for all these ingredients that you don't have or seasonings or oils or whatever it is, and seasonings get expensive. So if there's a new recipe that I really, really want to try, what I'll do is I'll try to find other recipes that have similar ingredients so that I can either add another new meal in or I will at least have other meals that I could try throughout the month so that those items that I'm purchasing aren't like a one-time item that I buy and then I never ever use it again because you know you you might not like like the recipe that you tried and then you're never going to eat it again and then you have this you know stockpile of you know seasoning and you have no clue what you're going to do to it and then it's just kind of a waste of money um, the other thing I do is my list is very um, I like to say flexible okay I will write down fruits veggies. I don't have set fruits or veggies that I'm going to buy. There's certain things that I always buy like bananas because I always have bananas in my Shakeology every morning. Um, but there's other fruits and things like that that I basically will go in and I'll see what's in, you know, in season or what's on sale. Same thing with meats sometimes too. We kind of have like swap out meals on our, our list. So if say we go in and it's a killer deal on like ground turkey, but maybe we didn't have ground turkey written, we'll go ahead and get that. And then we know that there's a couple other meals that we could pretty much swap out um, fairly easily for that to accommodate um, the budget and to save a little bit of money. Um, we also will do a lot of like prepping out where, um, if you cook maybe one meal, make it a little larger, and then you can go ahead and freeze the uh, the leftovers and then use it again for another meal, or you can like double up, like you can maybe crock pot some chicken and you know cook it one way for one meal and then the following day use it for another. Like I guess a good example would be kind of like, um, I love turkey meat, um, made up as like taco meat versus um, you can do red meat you know really lean but I like turkey meat and so maybe one night I do tacos but then the next night I could do like a taco salad so it's you know the still the same meat but I'm basically double using it um, it's always nice to buy in bulk because you will usually save a little bit of money there um, those are basically the top things that we do we also um, Oh, I guess one other thing and I, before I forget is I will sometimes shop at different stores because I find that some stores are going to have better prices or even a better selection of like fruits and veggies and their prices are lower too. Um, so don't be you know shy about maybe hopping around to different stores to pick up different items. Um, I do this a lot with like, uh, like home cleaners and things like that where it might be cheaper somewhere else or like my dog food or cat food or uh, my, my daughter has rats and rat food. Um, you sometimes just want to be conscious of which stores have different prices of different things so you can basically you know cut some corners. Um, to piggyback on that, 
if you're talking about household cleaning items, you may want to start looking into maybe even using alternative methods of cleaning your home. My favorite tip, and I shared this on um, my Fit page before, if you're not a follower of mine, I'm, I have a, a wonderful little fitness page called Fit with Blair on Facebook. You can go check it out. But I had posted about how you can use hydrogen peroxide as a cleaner. It actually kills a lot more than you would be amazed that even some cleaners don't even clean. Um, it's anti-mold, antibacterial, anti-fungal, anti... -fungal, anti I can't remember, anti-everything, let's just say. And so I clean my entire kitchen with that. And a hydrogen peroxide bottle is what, like a dollar, I think? And all you have to do is just pick up a nozzle and stick the nozzle into the, the um, container because you don't want to pour it into another container because that will actually ruin the solution. It won't work anymore. Um, but that right there saves me a ton of money because I'm using hydrogen peroxide versus and and you know harshness of other chemicals. But there's tons of things that you can use. Like baking soda has many purposes for cleaning. Um, borax is another one. It's like a detergent um, that can clean tons of stuff. So those are other things that you can look into. Once again, you can research this. Google is amazing. Um, I also love to get ideas off of Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest. Um, YouTube especially has great videos and topics like these. Um, so these are just a couple of things that I find really help us as a family save money. Um, and before my son totally interrupts this video, uh, yes, you want to say hi? Okay. So I have to go back to being a mom, but I hope that these tips helped you. They do definitely help us. Thanks. Bye.